Um, my name is Russ Cleave. I'm 48 years old and I'm from Portland, Oregon, USA. Um, my diagnosis is what's called FSH muscular dystrophy, uh, also known as facial scapule humeral muscular dystrophy. Uh, diagnosis was in the uh, early 1980s, but uh, it's actually a birth defect that uh, my entire family has, except for my father. In 1993 or 4, I actually did a uh, diagnosis through my doctor to confirm that it was FSHMD, something I'd known for decades, but just to confirm. Um, and I, uh, that's when I began to try to do something about it, more exercises, more physical therapy and uh, seeking whatever treatments I could do. I was pretty good shape uh, most of my adolescence. Into my early adulthood, I was uh, bicycling, running, jumping, uh, doing uh, very active type activities in my life. About the time I turned 26 or seven, my uh, left foot began turning inward. The drop foot, typical drop foot, uh, began happening. And I would trip over my feet and I would fall, but I could get up easily. Um, I was still riding a bicycle quite a bit at the time. Uh, before that, I had ridden 50 to 100 miles a week, and I did that quite frequently. Um, and then, I would say I continued riding until my early 30s, and I was still walking but tripping. And then by the time I was 35, I had to give up bicycling. It just was too difficult to push the pedals anymore. And I turned to a stationary bike. And I also used a three-wheeled recumbent bike. And uh, the three-wheeled recumbent bike turned out to be difficult to ride uh, after about a year, and so I got rid of that. Continued my stationary bike therapy, um, but that became more and more difficult. And by the time I was 43 or 4, I gave it up completely. Um, did no exercising whatsoever since the time I was about 43 or 44. I wanted to... Uh, to get something going before I was in a wheelchair because I knew I was headed for a wheelchair. Uh, my muscles were beginning to astrophy more. I wasn't doing any kind of program at home to help myself. Uh, no physical therapy, a little bit of stretching, but um, no bicycle riding, nothing. I just felt like I was beginning to give up. And when I heard about the stem cell treatment, thinking, oh wow, I thought we were five to 10 years away from this, I immediately jumped on it and said, I'm gonna do this. I talked to my family members about it and their concerns and their issues, and every one of them was in complete agreement with me to, to, to try it and go for it. There was some trepidation. I was concerned about, uh, well, <laughs> being away from home for so long. This is a five-week program. I've never been away uh, from home this long. Um, being able to take time off from my job um, I thought would be difficult as well. And raising the money I thought would be a very difficult thing. So uh, there's a lot of trepidation there because of those things. It wasn't so much the, the safety or the risks or the, really the travel to a, a foreign country where I didn't speak the language. Um, it was it was more about those practical matters. So I was concerned. I was concerned about the work I have to go through, um, the, all the physical therapy uh, that I'd have to do once I got here. Um, the 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 treatment alone I thought was going to be incredibly painful. It it was scary. It's scary to make that first step when you have found that no one else in the United States can answer your questions because they've never been through it. There's always a great doctor around or wonderful nurses, uh, people that speak English, um, there's translators, there's uh, people to specifically uh, set aside to drive you if you need to go someplace. Uh, everything you need is right here. It's, it's different than America, um, but it still has everything you need. 
you know the physical therapists here are just wonderful they know when you're in pain they know when to stop and not hurt you they know what they're doing I can take these new stem cells that are in my system which is a total now of uh, eight bags of stem cells and then there was the ninth injection which was the IV of my bone marrow, cultivated bone marrow. So there's a total of nine bags involved. Um, now I can take all of that, feel like I have a new building blocks for my muscles and that I can build upon that and I've already seen results in, in building that muscle. Uh, my strength has increased on the bicycle from zero resistance to five and uh, I can do that for um, maintain five number five resistance for about 10 minutes and number four resistance for about 30 minutes uh, so before I came here I could only do a zero resistance for about 10 minutes and that was as much as I could do um, my uh, I stand straighter than before I came here um, my gait is smoother and faster when I when I walk. Uh, standing is still an issue to, to get up from, um, but I have more flexibility in my upper body now. Uh, I'm not so tight. The physical therapy uh, that was about an hour per day has really helped to stretch my astrophied muscles. And um, my left arm now is, is back to complete normalcy and flexibility. And my right has gone from about 25% flexibility to 50% flexibility. So uh, all of those are great. Most importantly, and I may cry about this part, is um, my uh, CK level, which is the creatine kinsinate level, which shows the breakdown of muscle in your body through a blood test, at uh, in MD patients, it's usually well over a couple of hundred, when it should be under 100 in normal patients. At one point, um, several years ago, I've tracked it for the last 10 years. One point, several years ago, it was uh, over 1,200. Um, just before I came here, it had dropped to a little over 200, and today, as I sit here, it is now. 74 which means my disease has slowed down or stopped completely so I am totally amazed by that that has made this entire trip everything I've been through completely worth it <laughs>